Have you recently renovated and overseeded your lawn and you're unsure on the best way to look after it? In this video, I'm gonna go through step by step everything you need to look after a newly overseeded lawn. We're gonna talk about when you should cut it and at what height, when you should put weed killers on, and more importantly, a tip that's gonna turbocharge it for you. So, let's go. I get a lot of questions on the channel, when should I cut my grass after overseed? By the end of this video, hopefully you'll be able to answer that better for yourself because every lawn is different. My lawn is set up probably like most lawns. We did just the cylinder cut it, but I haven't been cylinder cutting it that much this year because just due to time. So my lawn's probably gonna be very similar to yours. Although I'm recording this in the autumn, these tips are 100% practical, regardless if you're watching this in the spring or the autumn. The only thing is, in the spring, you're not gonna have to worry about the leaves. Now, let's go. One of the most important things about lawn care is knowing the height of your grass. So if you know the height of your regular height of your grass, my grass is usually about 30 mil. Whenever we're cutting with an ordinary lawnmower, whenever we're cutting a cylinder mower, it's 20 mil. For a couple of tools to show you, I use just a regular tape measure. That's gonna do 99% of people. The other way you can use is this thing here. I've talked about this in the past. It's called a milli gauge. It's actually just a very expensive piece of glass. Now, these are about 300 pounds. I'm gonna give a wee quick shout out to Allet lawnmowers they recently released one that's quite a bit cheaper than this here so if you're into your cylinder lawnmowers these here are really good for checking the heights otherwise everyone else we just use a normal tape measure or a ruler to measure the height of our lawn so let's do that now so as you can see we have a lot of leaves on the lawn we're going to have to get those cleared off but i'm going to show you the tape measure and see what height the grass is and whether or not we're ready to give it its first cut after the overseed we'll just take our tape measure and we'll measure the height of the grass You can see off the tape measure that the grass is currently about 60 mil in height. Now, I usually cut the grass at 30 mil, so today I'm going to raise the height of the lawnmower up just so as we're taking the tips of the grass off because we don't want the rest of the lawn to get off from being under control, but we don't want to cut the grass right down. My next job is now to clear these leaves off the lawn. You could, of course, use the lawnmower to clean it off. However, you want to get as clean a cut on the grass as you can. So by removing the leaves, before you do it, you're going to get a better cut. I've now got the leaves cleared off the lawn and I've seen some problems that we're going to have a talk about now. So our first problem is we have some weeds in the lawn. So I'm just gonna talk you through what you should do about the weeds in your lawn if you've just overseeded your lawn. I'm gonna take my white stick and I'm gonna show you where the weeds are in the lawn and then I'm gonna tell you what I think you should do about the weeds. Here, 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 here. I actually have a lot of weeds, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna worry about them for the next six months. Why is that? because I want to get the grass, the newly seeded grass, off to the best start. And if we put on a herbicide, then it's gonna slow that process down. So while you can put on specially professional herbicides closer to overseeding, I don't. Leave it six months. So I actually have another problem in Milan. I have some mushrooms, but mushrooms come and go, especially this time of year, September, October. But mushrooms can appear any time, and they're actually a sign of healthy soil. So we'll have a mushroom away down here and I have another one here. I'm just going to run over with the lawnmower. There's no need to pick them out or do anything with them. They will just go away on their own time. Our next step is now to cut the grass. We talked about this a short while ago about heights of cut and my lawn is currently cut at 30 mil and the grass height is sitting now at 60 mil because it hasn't been cut in over two weeks. So this is very important and it's the basis of good lawn care. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to learn more information and for the rest of you, you know what to do, smash that like button. Your grass, the, the basis of really good lawn care is the 30% rule. Never take more than 30% off a blade of grass. Why is that? If you think back 
to your GCSE days. I know for some of us, it was longer than others. Your grass makes and stores electric, sorry, makes and stores energy in its leaf. So if you think, if this is the blade of grass here, and if we take off more than 30%, then we're taking away the grass's ability to make and store that energy. Now for new grass, we don't want to put it under any stress, but for our existing lawn, we don't want it to get out of control either, that whenever you're coming to it, you're having to shave it way down. So today, we're looking to just to take the top off the grass. Now usually, the lawn we're sitting at 30 mil, so I'm going to raise the height of cut on it, we're going to cut a section, and then we're going to measure it out and see what height it is, so as we can bring the lawn down slowly and under control. So we're just going to raise it up one. Happy days, we've just measured it. The grass started at 60 mil. We're now down to 40 mil, so we can get on with the grass cutting. Now, cutting your grass isn't the only thing you have to consider. And if you want to find out a cheat sheet that I recently learned, make sure to watch on, because what I, I'm going to show you next will really improve your new grass. So I've just finished cutting the grass. Now let's see how much we took out of it. As you can see, we haven't taken that much out. However, I'm happy because we've just taken the top off the grass and we're not letting the grass get from under control. Now I'm going to show you another trick that you're really going to want to see. My next tip, you do at your own risk. This summer, I did a test patch video where we tried to grow a slow growing lawn and it failed. However, we learned something really, really important. We covered some of the new grass in iron. I was always taught that you shouldn't put iron on the new grass. However, we found that the grass grew a lot better. It was greener and it was thicker the whole way through the test. So today on my own lawn, I'm going to put on some iron. So I'll just show you. Now I'm just going to put on a little amount. The lower amount, we're not going to go on. We're not going to go on at a higher amount. We're going on at the lower amount, which is one to two grams per meter square. Plus we're going to do some seaweed, so let's do that now. If you want more beginner level lawn care tips, watch this playlist next and I'll see you over there now.